What is the toughest play in hockey? Is it scoring a highlight reel goal? Or maybe making an acrobatic save? What if the toughest play in hockey is a play that happens all the time? Puck driven down, Ian Deep drives it into the right wing corner. A hammer into the corner boards. A forward dumping the puck in the corner and a defenseman retrieving it. At first glance, it seems like just a regular play. But for defensemen, it's much more difficult than you may think. Having a 200-pound guy on your on your back, it's not easy. It's tough when it's you know 20, 25 times a game when you know a team you know there's a lot of big players, a lot of fast players in this league where you know they chip the puck behind you and you're gonna go back there and you know you're gonna get hit. I think that's a big thing with today's game is every line can skate, every every line finishes their hit. Doesn't matter who you are. So we know that it isn't an easy play to make, but. How do you make that play correctly? In perfect world, you know, you turn, uh, you get first to the puck, you have, you know, you double check your shoulders, but sometimes you don't have time. Like I said, you've got a, got a guy flying down and breathing down your neck. It's, you know, just trying to get there as quick as possible, take a little quick peek, but sometimes it doesn't happen either. It's just, uh, you know, we play with instinct sometimes and uh, a lot of talk from your, from your teammates, that, that helps a lot. We learn as kids to look behind you, uh, check your shoulder and, um, try to figure out where everyone is behind you. Just trying your best to make the right play. It's a, it's a quick decision, and um, sometimes it's not the right one, but uh, just try to make the right one more than uh, the wrong one. It's not just the blue liners that have to think on their feet. The forward dumping the puck also has his own strategy on how to execute this play. I think one of the hardest things is if you can get the puck to stop short of the goal line, because that means they're picking it up, heading back towards their own end, same as you. And there's a wall coming up, and there gives you an opportunity to get the forecheck established. If you allow them to get back and, and pick the puck up with their feet heading up ice, and it's going to be that much easier for them. And as a defenseman, you're, you're one, forcing them to turn, forcing them to work hard, and then you're forcing them to think. He's got to think, am I going to get killed, dude? Do I have to protect myself? Is the guy going to go for my pocket? It's, it's a very uncomfortable spot for a defenseman. They, uh, and that's the thing, that's what, you know, it's, it's when things aren't going well in the game and you aren't generating, that's, it's one of the best plays to do. The game has evolved over the years, and this play is no exception. The retrieval of pucks in the corner has gone through some changes, and it is quite different than it was 20 years ago. The biggest difference from when I was playing and the play today is the trapezoid. The forwards now are dumping the puck in to leave it in the trapezoid so the goalies can't play it to make the defenseman have to race back and play it. So the trapezoid itself created, I think, a lot of the danger for the defenseman. It was definitely different for us when we played than it is today, because when we played, you were allowed to hook. So a lot of times you'd be going in a corner and I would try to get a step on the guy, and then you felt the hook, and then the D would tie you up. And then so if you could get at least your hands free, you knew you were going to get hit, and you just try to make your play as you were taking the hit. Now that we are aware of how difficult this play is to make, is it really the toughest play in hockey? Yeah, for the D-man, it's, it's definitely up there. I mean, you're... A lot of times you got big big guys barreling down on you and um, you got to make a smart play. Sometimes it's just eating the puck if, if you don't have a play and then not giving it away to the other team. You're going fast and you're going into an object that's not moving, so there's obviously a potential for, for injury or disaster or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I think so because um, you have your back turned to the play. Um, I mean, you can turn your head as much as you can, but you don't have eyes behind your behind your head so it's kind of tough to see everything and and with the pressure coming down and, and knowing that someone can really really hurt you if he wants to um, I think that's the toughest play for sure.